welcome to episode 19 of Destination DMU and uh, in this episode we're going to be putting more roof back in and getting her just finished up, painted, we're going to paint in this one aren't we? Yeah maybe, so see um, how it goes, yeah. We just sort of, you know, decide what we're doing, prioritise as we see fit really but uh, yeah, lots more progress to come in this episode so uh, yeah, we'll continue pushing for the final stretch. Yeah, bare minimum will be pea green and probably filled, ready for paint. Um, but optimistically, yeah, it'd be nice to get her in plain gloss blue. Um, and then we've got the lovely problems after that of all the gutters to do and other, you know, housekeeping jobs. But for now, uh, we're going to seal her up up until the point uh, discussed last episode, which is a panel and a door from the back. We're going to leave that for uh, nice cold times. Um, so yeah, but you know, the last of the kind of, for the heat, don't know when you're actually going to end up seeing this, it could be cold, but last of the heat at the moment, so uh, we will, you know, take as uh, much advantage of that as possible, so uh, we'll get cracking and um, yeah, let's jump into the time lapse of um, a lot of roof being put in, so yeah, fun days all around. So, as you might be able to tell, it's window cutting season. So, um, this is one that I prepared earlier. Uh, pretty much is about to come out, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you know, show me cutting out this one, and then the bigger one behind me, um, just cause, you know, when there's four of them, well, there's four of them, isn't there? So, yeah, uh, but I just didn't quite finish this the other day so you know i'm going to show you uh, me cutting out the other ones and uh, then uh, we've got the fun job of fitting the window frames oh, it's one of my favorite jobs on this dmu is fitting them uh, and then uh, yeah got some doors to hang so uh i'll probably speak to you before before we hang those doors because uh, i think that's going to be my second favorite thing to do on this dmu intervention from uh, fitting the roof sections in we have also fitted a door um, this is our first door that we've taken off and refitted as, a, as all doors do it needs a little bit of adjustment a little bit of grease which it will get uh, fairly soon and then uh, yeah we'll get the roof holding above it now we don't need to use the camp rail as a hoist <laughs>
So, now that I've uh, cut out the windows, um, got a little bit of an elephant in the room, which is, obviously we've got a hole in the dome still. Now, we have got four character root indicators. We want them to be seen, so we need some glass fitted in there. Um, so what we've done is we've contacted a glazier and um, they're about to come and shape, cut and uh, fit the glass in the dome so that then we can get it looking a little bit more authentic and uh, then fit the four character root indicator knowing it isn't going to get damaged by the weather, which should look quite nice. So, as you would have seen, um, they've come in and they have fitted that window. Uh, they still need to come in uh, because they didn't have the, they're basically the rubber. Uh, if, you're, if you know DMUs, it's a little bit like 101 window rubber. If you don't, that doesn't help you one bit. Uh, so I'll do my best to explain. And that is, it, it's a window rubber that's very flexible and then it has a gap where you put then like a, a filler piece which stiffens it all up. Um, so they've come, they fitted it, but they didn't have the filler piece because they didn't know quite what they required and they didn't have any in the van. So they're coming back to fit, finish that last little bit off. Um, but as you see, it's now up there. It does look really nice. It's odd uh, in such an old unit where, you know, there are history marks on pretty much every pane of glass that we're doing our best to get rid of. Um, whereas with that, it's brand new and you can kind of tell the difference. Um, and it's a little bit odd uh, having something so clear on such an old unit. Uh, but that is now done. Uh, I'd like to say uh, thank you to Agri Glaze. Um, if you're in Norfolk and you need a custom window, um, seem pretty competent to be honest. Um, and it, you know, it's come out looking quite nice. So uh, I would recommend them. Um, but as you can probably hear and maybe see, Michael and Paul, are now on the final kind of preparations before we get that holding coat on. Now, apologies for not filming some of that as um, they kind of just got on without me. Um, so yeah, apologies you didn't see that. Um, but as you can see now, you know, it's all the usual stuff. If you want to see some more of that and a little bit more of an explanation on that, I recommend going to episode eight, which is final preparations for paint. Um, we have also put the first etch primer coat on the roof and some of the doors that are done. Yet again, if you want to see that, go to Purely Painting, that's episode 9. Uh, I'll probably link them somewhere up here uh, at the various points. Um, but what we're doing now is we're getting that filler, which is basically we're going to do like the, a 90% job. So we're going to do 90% because it, you know, to go from 90 to 100% takes just as much time for that last 10% as it does for the first 90% and it's only a holding coat. It only needs to look good for the meantime. So we just need to seal it up. So we're doing like the 90% and then banging the holding coat on. So what you're gonna see now is you are gonna see after they've obviously sanded that, you won't see any, any of that, but you will see when they come to put the black on the roof, because um, there's still a second coat of edge primer that needs to go on that. And you will see when they then paint the gray undercoat on the body side and then blue. And then, you know, she, we, can, we can breathe, we can breathe again because she is finally sealed up and we don't have to worry about any of our work going bad over the damn winter. So yeah, windows in and what you're gonna see now is you are gonna see painting marathon. So, a little interjection from the painting madness. Uh, we just put the black roof paint on, first coat of that, so that's had, um, if you go back to episode nine, we went through the process a little bit more detail, but that's had, scraped all the roof back, 
degreaser and for the galvanized roof because it was galvanized. I say was because it still is in places but obviously the weather hasn't been kind to her when the paints come off and in some places there is no galvanizing left. So you prepped it with that, wash that off and then two coats of etch primer um, which we put on and then first coat of black and then still needs a second coat of black um, which will get done off camera because it's not that exciting it goes from black to more black um, so and then after then when she's all done and we're ready to paint her in her final coat final finish we'll put a third coat on the entirety of the roof the dome everything so but quick interjection from that and that is on our second door exciting moment i'm very glad that it didn't go uh, very badly because um, yeah, we've been told that these can be a pain, uh, to put it uh, nicely. But what we had to do is this bottom hinge here. Um, basically, I haven't got the bit that came out here, but the edge. So these, there's a ball in there that you'll be able to see, and they sit in a hemispherical um, casting on each side, and then they obviously rotate around the axis. Well, the wear on the bottom one here had gotten razor thin on one edge, and the ball was quite worn. So these two space, these two halves of the hinge were almost touching. You can see here, it's closer here, and it's even closer on the top hinge, but as long as they're not touching, that's all right, and we're not gonna be using them nearly as much as we are did, so, you know, not a big issue for us, really. But we replaced the ball, the inners, and got a, not a brand new, but a, a used hinge that is in good condition. Uh, fitted that, and then, you know, hung it up, uh, as you saw in the last episode, I believe, of us hanging the other door up, which you might not be out of shot. But yeah, we've hung two doors now, kind of pretty successful way of doing it. Um, it does require having the roof cut out though, which is why we haven't gone any further with our roof repair, uh, because we needed that for the ratchet strap to sit in, um, just next to the uh, pull cord aluminum casing that you might be able to see. So, and then that holds it in position and then we can shimmy shammy it around. All that's left to do on this door is you'll notice this door lock, we've got spares thankfully, uh, but this door lock, should stay at about like an angle. It shouldn't. Uh, it shouldn't close completely. There's a hammer missing, um, but even with that, she won't shut fully because I still need to trim it. But I have been deliberately waiting to do that uh, until the doors on because I don't know how much to trim it until this doors. So yeah, I've uh, done two doors now, and I don't seem too troublesome. You know, fingers crossed and hold your breath. But two down, and at the moment, 100% success rate of refitting them and taking them off. So. Good news for us as we've got like 60 of them so yeah now what you're going to see is obviously you can see we're, we're still prepping filling and the stuff like that the next thing you're going to see is the first coat of the two undercoats of gray that are going to go on so one coat on sand second coat on and then what you will see is you'll see the blue holding coat go on um, and hopefully this side should be a lot smoother than the other side because we've had a little bit more practice now and we've replaced more panels we haven't patched nearly as many we've just gone nah get rid of it but a new one so it should look a lot nicer on this side and likewise we've had practice with paint etc now uh, not so amateur at, the, at this stage so that's what you're going to see now yeah quick interjection to let you know that this door's gone on went on with minimal worries you know minimal effort really a uh, bit of a pain but like what do you expect a uh, door you know yeah. they're heavy they're obtuse so yeah anyway let's crack on and uh, you know You'll see that you'll see this when it's all sanded and pea greened over the filler and then we'll you'll see it get the grey on. So exciting time.
Right guys, so that wraps up this episode. As you will see, we are now standing in front of a lovely blue protected DMU. Um, all the side has been painted as far as we could go and also the roof has been painted. Yes, uh, we've used Jotten Pilot ACR on this side of the roof. We weren't too happy with the uh, uh, B-Deck barn paint. We've got some worries and concerns over that. So we've put this on this side and it really does seem to uh, be doing the trick. So we're gonna drop down the other side later on and uh, put this paint on it as well. So yeah, all good progress. Um, well, the paint finish on this side is far superior to the other side, but then, you know, you chuck yourself in and you just learn. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, one of the guys at Langoffram. We had a nice chat with him, and we've used a couple of his recommendations on how to paint. Um, and his word seems to be correct, so thank you very much to him. Um, but as you can see, obviously we kind of stopped ourselves short, um, and I'm very thankful that we did because the temperature has now dropped below 10 degrees. Uh, so we got in there kind of just before. 10 degrees isn't like a absolute, it's just, you know, you want double digits really. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we obviously need to trim the panel above Michael. And I'm standing in our next, you know, jolly task, which we've already started to rebuild. Uh, thankfully, Michael got on with that while I was doing some other frameworks. So I'm very thankful for that because that's sped everything up. This is currently in soy sauce. We are gonna fit this panel next episode. And also you can see above Michael, the roof. Uh, we still need to uh, fit the last bit of the roof over the painted panel, hence the trimming and everything. And then we're going from about here and uh, the ultimate repair, which actually makes me really happy. Um, you know, you probably don't get a sense of it because I've done about 19 meters of this so far. Um, and this will be probably meter number 20. So very happy about that. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next very exciting episode. Oh, 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 oh,